What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Right now we're getting the boat loaded into the water here. Uh, we got a lot of rain, a lot of water in the river, came up a good bit, and we got a gorgeous day today. It's about 50 degrees outside. And uh, we're gonna go see if we can catch some walleye, do maybe do a walleye catch and cook, and make some fish sandwiches later. So I'm gonna get the boat in the water and start heading up river. Golden brown and crispy walleye, looks amazing. That's a fish. That's a good fish. All right, guys, we're getting started fishing here. It looks really, really good. Hoping we can get into a bunch of fish. And that way we can go home and make some walleye fish sandwiches. Now you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I don't really keep fish, hardly ever. But um, I'll keep a walleye every once in a while. I got no problem with people keeping fish at all, it's just, it's just not my thing normally. But every once in a while I like to keep some walleyes and cook them up. When I used to come out here with my dad, he'd sit in the boat, I'd fish. Like he wouldn't even start, he wouldn't even be fishing yet. And he'd start fishing like the first three casts, he'd catch one. There's one. That's a fish. That's a good fish. Man, did that thing thump it. It's staying down. I'm not sure what it is yet. Nice walleye. Yeah! That's an awesome fish right there. Gorgeous. That is a great eater size walleye. We're gonna throw him on the measuring tape and just get a measure and see how long he is. Over 15 for sure, pretty close to 20 I'd say. Um, 19 and three quarter, look at that, that was pretty close. Beautiful male, that's awesome. All right guys, we're gonna push up in here a little bit further, fish up in this creek and uh, once it gets a little bit later, right before dark, we'll kind of float down and fish the mouth again real quick. All right, guys, we just ran to a different spot. Um, the fishing is way slower than I thought it was going to be tonight. Uh, the main river is pretty muddy, but we might be able to get a few out of here, hopefully. All right, guys, this was an incredibly slow night of fishing. Um, we only got that one walleye. I thought it was going to turn on after we caught him as the sun was setting. We were only out here for about an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, it was just a real slow night. So we're going to go get the boat loaded up on the trailer, head home, and go make a walleye sandwich. All right, guys, we're back home in the kitchen. I got my walleye all cleaned up here, and I got everything all laid out, and now uh, we're ready to start cooking. So I got the walleye here flayed up sitting on a paper towel so for me to get this stuff to stick really good i found out that if you get it nice and dry before you put it in the egg wash here this all sticks together way better so i'm just gonna double pat this down and get it all dried and then we're gonna start making up our egg wash now i'm gonna put all these eggs in here Mix this all up. All right, now I'm actually going to slice this one flay in half.
Okay, so we're going to probably triple dip these. We go in here. And that's a completely breaded walleye flay right there. Now I'm going to do that three more times and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, now we got all those breaded up. We're going to season the top side of these. Then when I lay them in the pan, we'll season the bottom side. So we're going to start out with some Old Bay. Going to need about that much of it. <laughs> Then some garlic powder. And then a little bit of pepper. Okay, we're gonna go lay these in the oil and then we're gonna season the backside. All right, got our walleye flays here. We're just gonna lay these down in the oil. Then I'm going to grab the seasoning and we'll cover the back side. All right, we got two slices of uh, potato bread here. We're going to mayonnaise these bad boys up. We've got the walleye cooking back there. And then we're going to mix up a little sauce here. All right, we had a camera die, so we're switched over to my phone. I got the microphone on. Hopefully everything's working all right. We got our gold and brown and crispy walleye. Looks amazing. So we're gonna whip up a little sauce here for the sandwich. About, well, let me grab a spoon. We're gonna do about that much mayonnaise. And about this much relish. Mix this all up. And a little more relish. Now the key here, we're gonna slice a lemon. Put a little bit of that lemon juice in there. Just like that. Mix that all up. Now we're going to take our beautiful looking walleye. Look at that. That is just awesome. It's almost as beautiful as when we caught it. I'm going to put that there. Another crispy piece right about there. And one right there. We're going to take a tomato. We're going to take a tomato. Put a slice of that there. And another slice of tomato right there. We're going to take that sauce we just made. Put it all over just like that. Put our top of our bun on. Potato bread. Put it down. Get a little cross cut action here. Maybe, maybe not. Look at that. Now that's how you make a walleye sandwich. Mmm. That's good. Wow, that's amazing. 
All right, guys, I'm about to go to town on this walleye sandwich. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.